This was the moment Gutam Das finally left hospital after spending 35 days in ICU on a ventilator with COVID. Two years on, he knows how lucky he is to be standing here today. My wife and they got a phone call from the doctor in the middle when they say, like, you know, we have tried, tried everything, it's not working, so you just need to pray God. So that was scary and obviously they were tired many things and his wife got at the same time as me but she only got for a day and on the next day she was fine. She had a bit of fever but then she was fine and uh, she was helping me recover. Over the last two years, one of the questions we've continually asked is why do some people become more severely ill with COVID than others? Well, now a new study led by scientists here at the University of Edinburgh have found that it could all be down to our DNA. It greatly deepens our understanding of the biological mechanisms of the disease. We can see at a molecular level um, what uh, is causing some people to be susceptible to the disease. And several of those, um, those molecules can already be targeted with drugs. So it, it has the potential to lead to much better treatments for COVID. While many have fully recovered from the virus, thousands are still living with the long-term effects. A lot more women affected than men, which is interesting because it's International Women's Day and a lot of women's health conditions haven't been researched as fully as they could. So there's huge opportunities to look at um, aspects of the female physiology. The aim is for this study and further research to improve the outcomes for patients with COVID, though for many, the lasting impact of the virus is still with them. Laura Alderman, STV News, Edinburgh.